Yeah, just looking at some of the damage. That tree took a, a nice little fall there. And then this tree is a pretty good sized tree. It went over. Wow. So this little place here took a pretty good uh pretty good windfall. Um looks like it's got some roof damage. Looks like the bikes were okay. On the back it got really worse. There's a uh fireworks stand it it looks like it almost went down from that uh little corner around this corner here we get some more uh do this without getting hit pretty good a little damage there that's a big piece of wood that flew kind of far and then of course the tin a lot of the roofs around here out in that pasture over here okay so this place looks like it took some pretty good damage man look at that trailer that it picked up and moved that's a big trailer wow wow so this this place is what I was filming the other day. This would have been right in line with this. Wow. So this is, uh, this is probably, this is on the way to Gainesville on Highway 51. In case you're wondering where this is at. So these horses look like they're kind of doing okay. They got a lot of pasture in the back there, but it looks like uh, this area took some damage too. Uh, again, this is on 51 on the way to Gainesville. Truck's gonna come by, nobody freak out. So the horses are just kind of like another day moving on. So this is the place where uh, the phone lines went down or the, the power went down. I stopped last night and asked them if their critters were okay and everything. They said they didn't lose any animals and uh, they made it out. They just lost all their shelters for the animals. And I think one of the shelters came up here and took these wires out. Um, so, little horses over there like, why is that guy stopping? Is there another storm coming? Poor little guy. <laughs> he looks nervous. <laughs> like, no shit. Yesterday we had all nice little covers and sheds, and now we got nothing. So, uh, this place took pretty good little damage. This place, all the last little videos I just showed you are all within a mile driving distance so I'm not going that far right behind me where the electricity if you look in the mirror there that's where I was just at showing that and this is the house I showed yesterday see the horses out there they seem to be okay I've stopped and talked to these horses before um, this is the one they were working on last night and trying to cover the roof looks like they got a lot of the, the, the roof maybe protected there to keep some of it out that barn you're not getting anything on that right away um, and metal is so damn expensive right now. Sheet metal is just crazy if you can get it because of the supply and demand crap. And, uh, you know, you see all the metal on the other side of the street. Cattle over there. Those guys look like they're out on their little quads out doing something, probably inspecting a fence line or seeing what broke, what d went down. So... This, this, this house probably took it, but you can tell it's almost in a straight line. It stayed on, this is 51, and it looks like it just stayed on this path and just reach out. There's a big old board on the road. I don't run over that and get a flat. Lots of metal. 
This is where those two little doggies were yesterday. Somebody lost their horse trough bucket. I'm assuming it came from there, but who knows? It could have came from that last place. Okay, so it looks like it jumped the highway. I, I have been driving this way. I made a U-turn because it looks like uh, dude standing out here in the middle of the road with his arms up for this 18-wheeler. Are you kidding me? And, of course, that trailer's got no trailer brakes, so nobody knows he's braking. <laughs> I don't want to miss a crash. <laughs> All right. So uh, this place took some pretty, pretty major damage. I mean, they got some huge barns and metal stuff that are just trashed. And they took something on their house, too. So this is the same path. I'm still on 51, uh, a little closer to Gainesville. Some really uh, extensive damage at this place. The roof on a, on a center of that big barn, but now you're about to get to this house that just got pretty uh, banged up. So look at that in the background there. It almost flattened that barn. I mean, it, it did a job. Turned over all those uh, man. And then this part of the house, they got screwed. Wow. Wow. Holy smokes. Really, really extensive damage. This, this place got hit pretty damn hard. And this is on the opposite side. So all the other damage was on this side of the highway that I've been showing. This is the first one where it looked like it jumped the highway. And uh, look at all that metal in the back there, man. It trashed this place. Wow. So it looks like that barn door got hit. The place that I just showed that was really bad is right back there. So uh, this is just up the road a little bit. Didn't do as much damage to this place. Uh, maybe a little roof damage on this house. Um, I don't know what we got up here. Looks like they lost some sort of... Uh, metal something there metal strewn out all over this field so that could be from the place that really got hit hard all this stuff is probably from there man so this little place looks like it, it did pretty good man look at that sign that almost looks like somebody hit it but that pole I think that's the wind because that's a big flat surface and I think it just bent that thing. Wow. Get next to that and see if I can see that better. So there's the sign. Wow. That wind just freaking bent that pole. 100 yards up, another pole bent the exact same way from the wind. Wow. That wind must have been freaking hardcore to bend that thing. Wow. So it's right up the road from where those poles bent. This uh, tower looks like it did okay, the cell tower, but the little house next to the tower doesn't look like it did too well. A couple of refrigerators turned over. A lot of stuff and little dogs in there locked up. Lots of metal out here. That's probably from the roofing. That's probably from that roof back there. Wow. So it definitely kind of followed the highway, which I always think or thought, I don't know if there's any scientific proof to it. It likes flat areas 
that it can go straight, but when it hits these hills, or the hills kind of direct it, I think the wind changes and it causes so much when it hits a flat surface, which is why it sticks to the path of least resistance, which is a flat highway. This little sh shed place did pretty good. But there sure is a lot of uh, a lot of metal. This little house looks like it uh, blew their little shed over onto their car. Ouch. Almost took it away. So this is in Gainesville on a corner here. This fence took a pretty good beating. And uh, two signs. That one sign right there, completely out of ground. And pretty much all of this fence right here just got taken out on this corner. And that sign, and then there's another sign right here that got taken out pretty good. Large signs, large flat surface area. Man, that wind just does a damn. God, just looks like it snapped it right off. Wow.